Hello, Forecaster here again, and we are back for another Railcraft tutorial. And in this video, we are going to take a look at another application for the token system. So, what we have here is a simple endpoint station with two waiting trains, as you can see. Then, along this way, we have another identical station and they are connected by this high-speed track. And this teleporter will take us to the other side, where you can see we have an almost identical setup. We also have this command block with a say command that will say ding anytime a train passes by this any detector. And don't worry about uh, NEI saying it's an item detector. And we have a distance signal on each end that is connected to the token system which we didn't have before. So the token system is pretty much the same. We have the RS latch, we have the input uh, the inputs for checking out the token and we have the inputs for checking the token back in. Then we have on this side we have a controller box that overrides the interlock boxes and we have two additional controller boxes that connect to the distance signals to show the status of the token. So and these are green which means that these uh, controller boxes aren't being powered uh, that means the token is available and the next train that comes here will be allowed into the uh, high speed track. So if we release this train, it's going to go off, get a water refill, and then it's going to go along the high speed line. If we pop over to the other side, we can watch it arrive. And you can see that the token is checked out, so the distance signal is red. Then we're going to get a ding in the chat from the command block, and then the locomotive is going to head back to the site. And once it has arrived, the token will be checked back in and is once again available. And also the token was checked back in when the train arrived at the other side and left the, uh, the merged track. So what we have is a single high speed track which means we don't have to have two lanes going in each one going in each direction um, which can save you some costs on the high speed tracks uh, because they can be a bit expensive when you're going large distances now when we have two trains so we're going to release this train and this train. And since the token is checked out, this train is going to have to wait for the other train to clear the high speed track. And there we go. Before it's allowed to enter. And then the same thing is going to happen on this end, where this train is now waiting for this one to clear the track. And once it has, it will be allowed to go back. And this one will be waiting as well. And then we're going to catch this train here. And catch that train there. And that's pretty much it. So we have the exact same system with the addition of the distance signals being applied to control this track section. Um, so yeah, that's everything I had to show you in this video. So, I'll see you in the next one.